How is your research shaped oxygen therapy today? We changed, I think, to a degree, people's perceptions of the harms of low oxygen. And, and also, uh, from what we learned about low oxygen levels, we also started to study quite a lot about high oxygen, which might sound a bit strange, but the treatment that we give for low oxygen levels when people are sick is to give them lots of additional oxygen by mask or through a ventilator. And, and actually, that can have harms in itself. So it turns out there's probably like a, a, a sweet spot, a sort of Goldilocks uh, position where there's not too much and not too little, but just the right amount.